Howdy folks, welcome back to Super Hamster Plays The Outer Wilds. As ever, do me a favour, hit the thumbs up button on this video, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. Help me take over YouTube one subscriber at a time. Now, it's launch day. Ten. Nine. One. Okay, we're up. We're up, we're up, we're up. Are we still coming down? We are. We haven't quite achieved orbit. Still seem to be coming down. Okay, let's try a bit more thrust. There's the moon, I think. Or we may have landed. Yeah, we, we, we kind of landed back where we started. <laughs> My bad. Remind me. It's fine. I'm sure how high we're supposed to get. I mean, that's the sun. I don't want to go that far. See, this is that the planet we just... That's the planet we just left, isn't it? Pretty sure that is. Let's just check in the map. where I want to go. Could do with a way of locking on or something. <laughs> ah, there you go. Ah, there is an autopilot. Okay. And we can match velocity. Let's see, does appear to be missing a big chunk of stuff. We are in orbit. That must be blokes. Are we down? We're down. Eagle has landed. Or the bucket. Now I'm guessing what we got here. CB on the horizon. Okay. It, oh, that's what the scout's for. Illuminate dark areas. Detect hazards. Test the environment. And we've picked up the scout because we don't have it now. That is kind of cool. Trees detected. There's oxygen. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. 
Doesn't everyone else come by? Back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs, nowadays it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chirk comes by to say hi, but Gabro is Gabro, and you know how Ryback feels about unnecessary space flight. Don't go. Uh, I mean, anything else you want to ask? Was that you whistling? Probably, or actually definitely. Other travellers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up the music with the I knew that. Best spot for that is the North Pole. The North Pole is marked on red on your minimap, but the Alterite is pretty small moon, really. Just go north, you can't miss it. Oh, anything else? Uh, what is this place? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Oh, stars above, you're serious, aren't you? Uh, that's just depressing. Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started out a while, travellers used to bring their ships here at the time for repairs. Spacefaring technology has improved since then, but the older ships intended to fall apart a lot. Like, more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here raising saplings from timber hearth and keeping an eye on things. Little, but I'm in touch with ground control, Hornfells and Gosham mostly, and they radio up to chat now and then. When ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. Don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as the other travellers since I'm always in one place. It's not too bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet, and that music's getting loud, so we'll see if we can turn that down. That's not a good thing. Um. Okay, well, thanks for playing. us at all. Is this like... This is our life backwards because we, we're doing the whole looking around thing. And... And that's where we burnt the marshmallow we talked about and then we saw the statue. Uh, but we have the launch code. Getting ready for the off the ground. Ships all feeling ready to go. Um. Bad dream or something? Still at half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. Now it's tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before a launch, but if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. Okay. Eat crunchy marshmallows. Uh, it's 
you. Slate said you'd be blasting off today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Um, better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Okay. Just like the real thing, only less likely to start fire. So that's the same. Are we on an infinite loop or something? Hatching alien seeking adventure in the cosmos. Anything adventure makes the one star. This is the same conversation. I think I died. But I have the launch codes. Sun hasn't blown up. The kids are back. to equip the signal scope. Okay, I'm sorry there's not a lot of commentary. I'm kind of at a loss at this point. Um, everything seems to have reset. Still. Yeah, we've still got the ghost stuff. That hasn't changed. I'm not going back in the cave. I want to go and see if the statue's the same. Now there's two of them and the eyes are open. That's different. Statue opened its eyes. Bet you wish you'd see that happen, huh? Me too. I opened a little close to understand what's going on. Uh... Yeah, tell me about Feldspar. One of the four founding members of the Amps world, along with other flight gossip and Slate, the engineer, and me. As ground control, the late museum curator, I didn't work with Feldspar as closely as Slate and Gossam did. I can tell you he was fearless, though nothing scared him. Test piloted everything Slate ever built. If you wonder, Feldspar lived to see space, frankly, but they did. Few all sorts of the dangerous stones, blah, blah, blah. One day, just didn't come back. We don't know what happened, or where Feldspar went, or even whether they're still alive. It's been a long time since they left. My 
my favorite astronaut launched out last time, except to make my nose is just that's the same. Yeah, I know about the text. I'm terrified now. Training for this day. Grandpa brought it back from me. Giants deep. Home felt. Yep. Yep. Statue. Much the same. Finish construction calibration is that hasn't changed. You haven't changed. You haven't changed. What about the weird, creepy magic rock. Hasn't changed. You think upstairs changed? Planet's still there. So observations are still there. Including jumbo marshmallows. So I'm guessing that's what we live off. That's just stuff. Um, I can't get the launch codes. Because I already have them. Are you going to turn and look at me? It's like, yeah, I know. I am good. Confused? I'm going to lower this and see. If I die again, is it going to reset? Okay. Can't bounce it and get back up because I'm left to walk. But that's fine because I'm down the bottom now. So. We can just go up that hill. This was all kind of weird. Yep. I know that. Hold on, you're going to have to go to get the launch codes. I've already got them. Trust me, with the modifications I've made to those rockets, there's no way I would have missed that. I won't ask you how you got the launch codes, but since you've got them, I can move on. I want to see whether the new cockpit stays attached. The new what? Uh, we did last time. Nothing else has changed. Oh, if we hurry, that is... The moon. No times for countdowns. Ow. Wrong keys. Got a big crack. That's um probably not great. Uh, suit. Cockpit's fine. Anything else broken? Sun hasn't exploded. Right. 
Exit ship to repair the oxygen tank and upper hull. That looks like the oxygen tank. Forgot I was in space. Right. Upper hull repaired. That's the oxygen tank. Is that the oxygen tank? No, that's water. That's fuel. So that is the oxygen tank then, isn't it? Okay. Okay, let's see if I can apply a little bit. Way. Okay, what about jumping? How how high would jumping seems to get us about the right height, so let's try that. Yeah, that works better. It's a crash ship. Why is that bit shiny? All the other bits are not. Is there a way in? Or is we just wrecked? Nope, I think that's just a wreck. Okay. How do I refuel? I take it off and put it back on. Will it refuel? Yes, it will. Okay. This is new.
Now where are we going? That does look very red. I'm sure it was yellow earlier. Got here then. symbol was the one that was on the ruins. The Is that the symbol for their homeworld? These are different planets, maybe? fiery thing. That's the sun. <laughs> I'll stop hitting that. I'm so used to trigger being aim. Oh, it's spinning. planet or sun is this going to be the ocean one yeah that's the green deep whatever it is although I'm wondering if it's more a gas giant than that's got to be what's on the other side Yeah, that'll be tracking Brittle Hollow. Should now be somewhere in pretty much the middle of the sun. Yeah, that's what it's tracking. I'm sure of it. And nothing else. Okay. That looked like a tree. <sighs> Something to translate. I've seen this ruin in other travellers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Um, time for some official notes. This is some kind of Nomar locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to find something. I'm not sure, but I'm also able to translate whether a, something about the South Pole of Brittle. So I'll fly there and see if I can learn more. I'm just going to get back to the old ship and take off. Totally safe, mostly safe. Oh, stars above. Okay, so Brittle Hollow has some thing. Does this go in? Oh, and now we get a translate thing. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal... than this eye signal locator is. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow was ample available space. I could construct a new building to house it there. Yeah, let's... Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend, Kanoi would enjoy that immensely. He's always held in great interest in the eye of... He 
especially for a child born so long after. We'll begin construction on Brittle Hollow South Pole. That's the music that got loud just before the sun blew up, isn't it? Annoying those that are officially stranded in the Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there, but the heart heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I would recommend building on that. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. I was upstairs testing the eye signal and I can hear and follow the signals from the sun, Giant's Deep and Brittle Hollow. That's correct. However, something strange is happening. When I ask the eye signal to follow the eye's signal, That's our the thing's gone supernova again, hasn't it? Yep, yes it has. Can we get the ship? Can we get the ship? No, we cannot. saw that and we were down in the ruins yep this is what we did playing backwards the radio we looked at the map played with the signal locators repaired the ship back on earth spoke to a few people that was different played hide and seek which we don't have time for again. There's our pilot ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because otherwise I'd be super dead. I think it's a bit about it. Yes, between you and me I glossed over some of the finer details. Astrophysics is really more hornfels than me and I'm rocket science and marshmallows. No, you don't understand. And you're lucky I don't have you grounded for medical reasons because I have no idea what you're talking about. I reckon we can just take off. We can. We can just. We have, the we have everything. something. I think we're going to wake up. Yeah, that's us starving. Oh, slowly thingy. Yeah, and... Okay, and on that very weird note, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Help me take over YouTube one subscriber at a time. Can't believe we just died. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.